small intestine. The small intestine consists of three parts, the duodenum, the jejunum, and the ileum. That is in order. So it starts with the duodenum, goes to the jejunum, ends with the ileum. After the ileum, you get to the large intestine, and the very first part is called the cecum. The cecum is part of what's called the ascending colon, which is this hole, basically tube right here. This is the right colic flexure. It's on the right side of the body. The colic or colon is the other word for the large intestine. And a flex or a flexure is a bend. So this is the right side of the colon that bends. Well, welcome to anatomy. Honestly, it's super easy if we all knew Latin, but none of us do. <laughs> this is the transverse colon because it's running transverse to the body. This is the left colic flexure, this is the descending colon, this is the sigmoid colon, this is the rectum. A few other structures and things to know about this model. Down here on this model, it's broken. On a few of them, it's still completely intact, but this is where you find the appendix. It's a little gray thing that stretches out to about here, just so you know. Yep. This is the opening for the small intestine. So like I said, the very first part of the small intestine is going to be the duodenum. The duodenum is the only part of the small intestine specifically that gets tagged. You will never see the jejunum and you'll never see ileum. Okay, ever. I do not want to see that on your exam. So duodenum. Duodenum, yep. Or duodenum, depending on who your teacher is. These are the mesenteries. So these are the mesenteric arteries and veins. You have a superior and you have an inferior. This is going to be important for lecture and lab, okay? To know which one's which, you have to see where they're going. So, if you follow these out, you're going to go to the cecum, the appendix down here, the small intestine, the ascending colon, the right colic flexure, and you can even see that these vessels go to the transverse colon up here. These are the superior mesenterics. The inferior mesenterics are going to go to the left colic flexure, the descending colon, the sigmoid colon, and the rectum. So if you follow these out, they're going to be inferior. The other way to remember it is the superior mesenteric is always going on the right side, inferior mesenteric is always going on the left side. That works for lab, but for lecture, he will ask you specifically what structures they go to. So know 